as I've been on support here, I'm going to be showing you guys how to back up Cydia packages, backing them up onto your computer without using any application at all. Um, this will work for Mac and PC. Um, and let's get started into this tutorial. Um, this is a very uh, difficult tutorial if you're starting new with the jailbreaks. I recommend that you know what you're doing during this tutorial. Um, watch it a couple times. Uh, no, understand what I'm talking about. Do not attempt this if you do not know exactly what I'm talking about at all. Um, so guys, research before doing this type of stuff. I just want to give you guys that warning. Um, why you would want to do this is because if you restore an iTunes or update to the latest firmware, you will have to re-jailbreak and you lose all your Cydia and jailbroken applications, unless if you have them backed up with an application on your computer. But this will allow you to take the actual dev file, which is the installer file, and put it onto your computer and then put it back onto your iPod Touch, which I will show later in the video, um, and install it again via iFile. So guys, first you're going to need to install two things. Um, you're going to need to add a source first. You're going to add it. It's called the Sinful iPhone Repo. Um, it's going at the bottom of the screen right now. You want to add that uh, repo into your um, Cydia application. After you edit that repo, you guys are going to want to um, click the Sinful iPhone Repo and scroll down to I and where it says I file cracked. You want to install that, okay? And modify, and cl you click install. And so next thing you want to do, you're going to want to download and install this um, uh, modification called Open SSH. Uh, please excuse the lag. Just see it's being lagging. You want to install this, guys. So once you've got them both installed. Um, you're going to want to head over to the computer and we're going to hook you guys up with SSH. Okay guys, so now that I'm here in my on my Mac, I'm, you guys are going to need to download an FTP client. Um, I have a couple links to um, FTP clients in the description. They're almost exactly all the same. Um, I have For Windows, I recommend WinSCP, which is also in the description. Um, for Mac, I use Cyberduck. There's other ones like uh, FileZilla and other ones out there you can use. I am just going to be using Cyberduck. So, what you're going to need, you guys, is going to need to open up a connection. Uh, usually, for Windows and stuff like that, you just do File and like New Browser or something like that, or New Connection. Um, you're going to want to make the uh, transfer a SFTP, which is an SSH file transfer protocol, and you're going to want find your IP address on your um, iPod Touch. So to find your IP address, you're going to want to go into your iPod Touch settings application. You're going to want to click, you're going to go to Wi-Fi, the little blue arrow. Okay, after you guys click that blue arrow, you'll get this little screen. You're going to want to copy down that Play, uh, the number, code, or whatever you're going to call it, where it says IP address, and where I say your IP here, you want to copy that down and enter it in for where it says server. Okay guys, so I'm going to enter in my IP address for the um, server. Enter. And for the username, guys, you're always going to make it say root. And if you have not, if this is the first time you've used um, OpenSSH, your password should be Alpine. Um, I also have an annotation at the top of the screen right now of the video on how to change your um, SSH password uh, on your iPod Touch to make it more secure without getting hacked. And after I've got that enter, guys, you're going to click Connect. And please make sure your iPod Touch is not sleeping. It needs to be on completely. Okay, guys, so now I'm in, okay? You're going to get these two folders. Um, right now, I'm just going to put this off to the side, and you guys are going to need to go back to your iPhone or, or iPod Touch. Okay, guys, so now we're going to want to find a, um application or a download that we want to download onto our iPhone or iPod Touch. And I am going to, for this tutorial, I'm going to be downloading a free application called Backgrounder. Um, you guys can download it too if you want. It's a really nice application that allows you, or modification, that allows you to download, I mean, put applications in the background. You guys don't have to. You could, this will work with any um, application or tweak or uh, theme, anything like that. 
I'm just gonna cancel the update. Okay, guys. So you're gonna wanna. I'm gonna search for the application I wanna download called Background. And I'm gonna install it. Install Backgrounder. Confirm it, guys. Okay guys, so now I am I have finished downloading Backgrounder and it is already in uh, my iPhone and iPod Touch. And now I'm going to switch over to my computer and get the dev file. Um, so guys, just an FYI, you need to get the dev file within the first time you reboot or respin or the dev file will be gone. Um, Cydia will clear the dev file um, within at least, I think, 24 hours, people have told me. Um, so you want to do it really recently after you download it. So here I'm already connected into my um, iPod Touch, and you're going to want to go to li private. You want to go to private. You want to go back to private. You want to go into var. You want to go into cache. You want to go into apt. You want to go into archives, and then you will find here the background or dev file. Okay guys, so you're going to find it right there. And you're going to want to drag that file onto your desktop or wherever you want to save it. I'm just going to save my dev file onto my desktop and let it download. I'm going to allow it. And the dev file downloaded. It's not going to be very big, it's going to be mostly small. And once that finishes guys, you have backed up your own dev file. So congratulations guys. Now for the next portion of the video, I'm going to be showing you how to store your own dev file. Um, this is even easier. You're going to need to use that application that we downloaded earlier in the video called iFile. Um, so yeah, so let's get into the guys. So we're going to unlock my iPod Touch. And I am going to open up iFile. And before, um, so now I have iFile open, I'm going to want to go and open up my Okay, so now I'm back SSH into my iPhone and iPod Touch. I'm going to want to go all the way back to private. I want to go to var. And then I'm going to go to, where is it? I'm going to go to root. And you're going to want to drag that dev file right into your root um, directory and transfer it. You're going to click allow if you get a um, prompt. So now that it's transferred, I'm going to go on to my iPhone or iPod Touch and I'm going to go to the exact same place I just did that. And I'm going to go to bar and I'm going to go to root and then right there I uh, touch that and click installer. If I touch installer, it will install it, guys, and you will have the dev file installed. It is that easy, guys? Okay. Now, if you want to remove it, you can remove it with Insedia. Um, that easy. It's just like installing a regular application. Um, so, you guys have any comments? Uh, post in our forum at forum.iphonehelpsupport.com, and make sure to check out the blog too. So, keep you guys posted, and more videos to come. Peace, guys.